Okay, here's another YouTube and DTube update from Hedgin Lee. And this is on Digibyte this time. As you can tell on this four hour chart, I had set from prior analysis 3.75 cents, 5.62, <clears throat> 12 .7 cents were all met. Evidence of performance is in my blogs. For any critic who comes on saying I'm just picking numbers, throwing it down, there's no happiness to be found in just criticizing people like that without really having reviewed the evidence of performance. So here, did you buy? finished an ABCDE broke out. Now it's very simply correcting. And you might be thinking, what's going on? How do I even consider this from an analytical, technical analysis point of view? Well, the way I would do it is this. There's wave one and two. But before that, let's draw some lines. Could this be a bull flag? Well, yes. Sure can. <clears throat> what if I have a triangle? Pattern. And now that triangle pattern could be labeled as maybe A, B, C, D, E. A, B, C, D, and E like that. Or better yet, maybe I could label this as an expanded flat. I'm sorry, rather just an ABC. A, B, C. By the time you see the label like this, it looks like mumbo jumbo. <laughs> However, there is some value to this. When you have a combination of patterns all within a concentrated focal area, and these patterns are all pointing to the fact that this is a correction, then you have no other conclusion on a probability scale to place on top of the probability list as being once this is finished, price will go up. If you look at the MACD, it's curling over already. Let's look at the volume. Volume is decreasing. And that is a very good conf confirmation of the end of a corrective phase, especially for a triangle. And what happens is there's a lot of sellers here. They're selling. They're really dumping it. And they're going to keep dumping it until there are no more sellers left. That is why it is quite often a declining flag that is bullish. Why is it bullish? Because at the end of the flag, when all the sellers are gone, no one's left except the buyers. And then the buyers come in, and that's why the price explodes. So I think the Elliott wave could look like this. Really messy, I know. with a lot of labels. My target for Digibyte is 39 cents. My targets, earlier targets had been met three times. My wave three target is 34 cents.
34.3. And that's how I see it. A little messy here, I know. But I've already ta taken you through this. We already hit one, two, wave three is next. And I can almost assure you if this is wave three, if wave three is next, which I believe from a probability point of perspective it will be, it will not be less than one. <laughs> it will be several multiple of one. In this case, one, 2.61 of one. And that is a Fibonacci ratio. I hope this is helpful. And if you have any questions, please do post on the comments.